Hi guys and welcome to Tasmania TV and my collective haul for the month of January, so the first month of 2016. Now, as I'm sure I mentioned in my December collective haul, some of the items that I'm going to be featuring in this video were actually purchased or sent to me in December, but because I went on vacation and stuff, I didn't have time to record anything then, so that's why I'm going to be featuring those products now. So sorry for anyone who sent me stuff and had to wait but there was just no way I could do it, so I'm gonna feature them now instead. And as per usual, unless I say otherwise, everything you see is purchased by myself, but I'm actually gonna start off with some sponsored items today. First off, I have two pieces of clothing from Shein.com, which is formerly known as Shein.side, and they sent me some stuff for November, I think that was, two awesome dresses for my collective haul from November that you totally have to go check out if you haven't seen that already. And then they offered me to pick up two new items, and this time I picked a pair of trousers and a top. And before I show you the items, I just want to tell you that Shein.com is different from the other, like, typical Asian sort of cheap shops. This is high quality stuff, like, everything that they've sent me so far has been absolutely amazing in quality. And even though they are cheap, they're not the st like, stupid cheap that some of these other sites are where you don't really know what you're gonna get. So for me, this has been totally reliable both times that they've sent me stuff, so I do recommend them. Start off with the trousers. I am beyond happy with these. These are plastic, like faux leather looking, but very plastic looking, which suits me perfectly. And they have these like motorbike ruffles on the knee over the knees and then they have zippers down here and Because it is an Asian company you have to go one or two sizes larger when you order stuff So I got these in a large they are a little bit Too big for me just a little bit too big, but not so big that it bothers me I can still wear them and stuff if I happen to lose weight, I might have to take them in, but right now they still fit. They're just a little bit baggier, like around the crotch area than I would have wanted, but it's not a reason for me to not wear them. So I fucking love these and I'm going to share a little story with you guys. The first time I wore these, I went uh, clubbing with some friends and I wasn't like stupidly drunk or anything. I'm just clumsy, like by nature, really clumsy. The first thing that I do after entering the club, like literally the first thing I do is fucking trip on some stairs and just scrape my knees completely. And at the time I just laughed at it, but then in the morning after I woke up and my knees were like scraped and bruised and looked like shit. And I was like, oh God, no, my new pants, fuck, they're gonna be ruined, they're plastic. You can't see a goddamn thing. Like, look at that. You could not tell that somebody fucking fell down wearing these. There's not a, a mark on them. So even though they're made from plastic, they're amazing in quality. And this is what they look like on. The direct links to these two items are going to be in the caption below if you want to go check those out. I don't have the prices in my head right now, I'm sorry, but if you follow the links you'll find the prices there. The second item I haven't actually worn yet and I look forward to wearing it. It's one of those things that I don't really know when to wear and because it is an open back piece, I don't know if it fits during winter, it's so fucking cold here right now. So it is, in the front it's this very basic black long sleeved like semi turtleneck top and I think it's cotton it feels like cotton in quality and it's like striped slightly striped like a grandpa sweater if that makes sense but then in the back it's open and laced and beautifully laced and open all the way down which I freaking love so when I picked this out I thought that I'd wear it together with like a long black skirt and do like a strega or dark mori thing with it I thought it was beautiful, like this lovely witchy look. I just haven't had a chance to wear it yet, but it looks like this on. So those are the two items from Shein.com. Thank you guys so much for sending these to me. I absolutely love your stuff. And for you guys, Again, the links, direct links to these two items are in the caption below. We're gonna continue on with some plugs now. Feels like for the first time ever I'm not buying anything from Crazy Factory this month. Because I do buy from them a lot when it comes to piercing jewelry and for my stretched lobes. But 
I decided to go with a different direction this time and order from Custom Plugs. And I ordered from the UK branch. They have a couple of different shops. But I ordered from the UK one and they had a 70% off sale um, during Christmas. So I was like, fuck yeah, I'll get some cheap plugs. And I got two pairs. I didn't have crazy amounts of money so I couldn't afford more than two, but two is fine. So first off, I got these white double flared solid silicone plugs. These are so fucking comfortable. They're the same as the black ones I'm wearing now, but these are from Crazy Factory. Just, and they're so comfortable. Silicone is the shit, you guys. It is amazing. It is so comfortable to sleep on. Like when you're at this size, it can get pretty uncomfortable to sleep on your jewelry if it's like hard or it's metal. So these are just perfect for sleeping in and the whiteness, I'm not gonna try them on right now, but the whiteness of it, it's pretty cool. You'll probably see me wear these on Instagram and stuff like that, so you'll know what they look like on. But yeah, I absolutely love them. And then I got a pair of clear glass plugs. Both of these obviously 20 millimeters in size because that's my size. So I haven't worn these yet, but just so simple and cute. I don't know, I've always wanted these, so it's fun now that I'm a larger size, so I look forward to wearing those. And everything arrived like in an envelope like this. They sent this cute little sticker, and then the plugs themselves were like so sanitizedly packaged in this little plastic pack that you had to cut to get it open, and it says, sign, seal, delivered, they're yours. So yeah, just very non-bacteria. <laughs> And the uh, white solid silicone plugs were two British pounds, which I guess is each. It's got to be each. And then the glass ones were four British pounds each. So with the shipping, I paid fifteen ninety nine for both of these. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. Next up, we have some silicone tunnels. These I just ordered off of eBay because they're super cheap and. I wear these all the time for comfort. So I got a set of, I think there are five different ones in here. So pink, lilac, gray, black, and white. Just so goddamn comfortable. And again, I don't have the prices in front of me right now, but I'm pretty sure I paid like three euros or something like that. Like no, no money at all. And they're so comfortable and the quality is not crappy just because you buy it on eBay, so I really like these. All right, next up, I have something that I'm super excited about, and it's another sponsored post. It's a friend of mine who is seriously great at knitting, and she does these amazing, like, socks and scarves and everything, and since she's been getting into making hoodies, so she asked if she could make me one, and what kind of uh, colors or whatever I wanted, so I sent her an image for inspiration, and the image that I sent her was of Toothless, the dragon from How to Train Your Dragon. Fucking love that movie, by the way. So she made me something, and I haven't even opened it yet. Like, here's the big-ass pack. And I'm so excited. She and her twin sister, they have a blog, which I can't translate the name into English because it's not going to make any sense. In Swedish, it's a pun. It's called Maska du, kan du lika gärna sticka? And you can find it right here on this link. And I also put that in the caption below. You can check out all the amazing stuff that they made. Let's open it. Oh, she sent me a little note. Okay, she says, welcome back to the cold, because you know, guys know I've been in the Canary Islands. And she says, here's the warming toothless hoodie to hide in. I hope it fits. The ears might need some help to get a good shape and lean slightly backwards. And if you need to wash it, just be wary that it's made of 100% wool. Take care of yourself. Help. Thank you so much. And her name is Ulrike, by the way. Okay. Oh my god, it's so cute. <laughs> Can you see? I have to try it on so you can see it properly. God, it's enormous! This is perfect timing. It's so goddamn cold right now. <laughs> Toothless hoodie! Oh, it's so adorable. Wow, I'm so wearing this today. <laughs> this is the cutest thing ever! Oh my god! She's so talented. You guys have to check out her blog, seriously. And the two girls, sorry, the both of them, they share the blog and they're both very talented. Oh, hello, I'm Toothless. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Thank you so much. Alright, let's continue on with the rest of the haul. Next up, we have a package from Revolution Makeup. They were having a sale after Christmas, so I thought I'd just pick up some items that I was missing in my collection. 
As always, they package everything in bubble wrap, like this, so that it stays safe. Alright, let's start at the beginning. So we have five lip glosses. We have this one called Baby Try, which is like a matte pink. We have this iridescent pink, so it sort of reflects as a little bit of purple. And this one is called Move a Little Closer. Then we have this one, which is called Must Be Strong, which is more like a sort of warm pinkish red. Then we have this one, which is called Hey Girl, which is just a light apricot one. And then the last one is an iridescent sort of glittery light pink one called Too Shy. I didn't have any lip glosses from Makeup Revolution before and I wanted to try them. The lip gloss tubes were half a euro each. Then we have four Salvation Velvet Lip Lacquers. I have a bunch of these already and I really like them so I thought I'd get some more colors. These are wet to dry, semi-permanent lipsticks. And the first shade is called I Fall In Love, which is this bright pink. The second one is called Keep Lying For You, and it is a sort of grayish purple pink, I suppose. I'll swatch these in a second. The third one is called Velvet Rebel, which is a lot like this one, but a little bit more pink. And then the last one is called Velvet Black Heart, and it is supposed to be black. And these were one euro fifty a piece. I think this one is the one that I already have actually. I thought it was supposed to be black, but it looks like more like it's really, really, really dark purple. And I think I already have it, but that's fine. I really like these, so I don't mind having an extra one. Let's do a bit of a swatch. There is the swatch for you in order. So as you can see, they're all very brightly pigmented and very lovely colors. I really look forward to wearing these. Next up, we have these two, which are their Ultra Base Foundation. I hadn't tried these before, and I just thought that it was time. So they are basically BB cream foundations, and I got them in two shades, the O2 and the O3. So those are two of the lightest. One of them is supposed to be more pink, and one of them is supposed to be more yellow. And I'm kind of a mix of both, leaning slightly more towards pink, so I got them with the intent to mix them together a little bit. So let's check them out. Okay, so that's the O2. My hands are super dry right now. Yeah, it's very nice and light, which is perfect. I'll try this on my face later. And then the the O3, yes, I hope you can tell, but this is like clearly more yellow than the O2. So I think these will be a perfect mix together for my mixed skin. So I'll use them in a tutorial for you guys so you can see what they look like on my face. These were two euros each. And then finally we have these three. These are all products from their The One series, which is liquid foundations, liquid blushers, and liquid, like anything you'll do with shaping and sculpting your face, but in liquid form. So you can use them with an airbrush if you like, but you can totally use your hands or a sponge to apply them as well, or a brush, obviously. So first off, I got the foundation in the shade One, which is the lightest shade that they have package looks like this. Okay, this one is completely white actually. This is actually pretty cool because this is completely white and obviously I'm not that pale but like if you want to go for full white face do this old school goth thing you can do that or you can use this as a highlighter together with the slightly darker shades. So I'll probably just end up using this as a highlighter. And then we have the blusher in Pink Dew, which is the same, it's a liquid, so you can use it with your airbrush gun, if you want. So it's very baby pink. The reason I'm putting this in my hand instead of on top, because it's so, so, so 
thin and liquidy, it would just like run off my hand. So I think it's beneficial to use these products with an airbrusher actually. And then the last one I got is called Malibu Ocean, which is to be used for shading. So it is this lovely bronzer, lovely bronze tone. Uh, I did order this foundation in shade 2 as well, but they didn't have it in stock, so it's been crossed off my list. So yeah, that's what I figured. I plan on using this as a highlighter and then using the number 2 shade all over my face. So unfortunately they didn't have that, so I guess I'll get that next time I order from them. So the one foundation in shade 1 was 2 euros. The Malibu Bronzer, which is referred to as a blusher, but it works as a bronzer, was 1 euro 50. And the Pink Dew Blusher was 1 euro 50 as well. So that is the entire order. Other than the number 2 shade foundation being scratched off, they also scratched the Focus and Fix Liquid Concealer that I'd ordered, because it was also out of stock, unfortunately. So I guess I'll get those items next time. For the last part of the haul, I'm going to show you guys some of the presents that I got for my birthday, which was January 16th. I turned 34 and I celebrated with my family, so with Mr. Taz, with my parents, with my brother and his wife on the 15th, which was on a Friday. And we went out to dinner and it was amazing, one of my favorite restaurants in Stockholm. And then on Saturday, I had a huge party in the apartment for like all our friends. I don't think the place has ever been this crowded, so it was so amazing and I got a lot of amazing gifts and so much love and just such a great birthday celebration. So from my brother and his wife, I got a bottle of my favorite pear cognac, which is called Zante. It's delicious and pear-y and yeah, just awesome. We don't buy tons of presents for each other, by the way, in my family, so like I'm not gonna have a huge list of stuff. And from my parents, I got a bottle of white wine and money because like it's the first month of a new year i've literally just been on vacation spending all the lo remaining money from last year so yeah i i needed some some money to sustain myself <laughs> until the next paycheck so that's what they gave me and then on the saturday i got a bunch of stuff from my friends so i'm going to show you those now first of all the things i'm not going to show you because it's already stashed away in your liquor cabinet is three or four bottles of champagne or different kinds of um, sparkling wine. So I think one was champagne, one was cava, and the other was prosecco, I think. I am a sucker for sparkling wine and so is Mr. Tess, so that is such an amazing gift. And then I also got a bottle of red wine from one friend and another bottle of white wine from another friend. So I'm not going to show you those because it's just booze, but yeah. Those are those. And then I'm just randomly picking stuff from the pile here. Here's a cute little critter that one of my friends got for me. I think we named him Teddy because he's a triceratops. And we do have a mammoth called Mahmoud. So they're going to be buddies. The uh, mammoth was the rat's toy. This is the only thing we're keeping from the rats, by the way. And I'm going to make a separate video talking about why we're not getting any more rats in the future. So I'll be back about that later but yeah we're keeping my food and this is gonna be his his little friend yeah i love stuffed animals so this is teddy hello and then i got like obviously a bunch of cards and stuff one of those cards is a gift on its own my friend do, drew a little portrait of me and she is giving me she's one of those like connoisseurs or um just you know these people who just enjoy life and like eat really good food and have really good beverages and stuff like that? She's one of those people. So she's taking me out on a whimsical tours full day in Stockholm and she's gonna treat me to breakfast, lunch and dinner. And it says in the back, of course beer will be included. Such a sweetheart. So we're gonna set a date and then just have fun all day. I'm so excited. And then here is a gift certificate from two of my friends. And the gift certificate is for Veil of Visions. You guys have probably heard me talk about the shop before. It's run by one of my friends as well. And I have some gifts from her from that shop as well. So now I have a gift certificate from her shop too, which is awesome. I can buy a bunch of cool stuff. I love her things. I have a drawer like dedicated to only her stuff. So yeah, that's pretty awesome. I also got some money from another friend. Sometimes you give money because 
people don't have any money at the beginning of the new year. And then I got this cute cupcake cult zombie t-shirt. I thought that was pretty fucking cute. It's the uh, it's supposed to be like the Barbie logo, but it says zombie instead. And then it says cupcake cult in the back. I haven't tried it on yet, but it's a size medium, so it'll probably fit me. Awesomely. I love getting clothes. Oh. More cards. Um, oh yeah, I got the... Um, there's an army museum here in Stockholm and I got their like uniform book which has this like great history of like uniforms going back in time, like information about how it was made, what it looked like, how it was used, different time periods. And then I got a book uh, of like a cocktail book which is called the Jimmy Dennett's Cocktail 60 Drinks uh delivered by the best swedish bartenders so it's kind of a rock and roll looking beverage book i do like mixing drinks like trying new things and buying all kinds of different booths just to have at home to try different stuff so this is really great then i got a awesome little pencil which is pink and then you twist it the ball and the pen comes out and then up here, like the detail up here, is a skull. So, that's my new pen. <laughs> and then I got this, which is the Battlestar Galactica board game. I haven't opened it yet, obviously, so I can't tell you anything about it, but it'll probably be awesome. I haven't gotten a board game in so long, so it's gonna be so much fun to try this out. And then I got a lovely little necklace. I love that the chain is black, like that every detail is black. It's a little pendant with bats on it. I'm gonna zoom in. So it's a little bat pendant. So freaking adorable. Then I have some items from Veil of Visions, which uh, is the same place where I got the gift certificate from. So again, this is my friend Ingela who makes these things. The first thing that I got is a pair of purple like sunglasses with little skulls underneath. Pretty damn cool, don't you think? And then I got two hair clips, just like regular clips in the back, and they're shaped like little candies. So in the future, like in the near future, I'm gonna be going back to black hair and saving out, saving it out a little bit so that I can do a proper mohawk. So I'll be able to like pop these in. Or if I ever do dreads again, these will look cute as well. And then she also got me one of her ties that I just love. So it's like with red details and then it has a little spike down here. So it's the kind of tie that you tie in the back, so like a fake. Fake tie, not with a knot, and it's in sort of the PVC kind of fabric. I love her stuff, man. I got uh, an electro muscle stimulating massager, which is kind of a big, big surprise. So cool. Um, you can choose five different levels. You have two like electrode plates, and you can put them like anywhere you're in pain, which for me will probably be my neck because I'm always in pain. But you can put them like anywhere, like on your legs or on your arms or your feet or wherever you're in pain. And then you can do like traditional massage or acupressure uh, and all kinds of stuff. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm really excited. I was also given this lovely Nightmare Before Christmas bag for my birthday from one of my friends. Uh, she had it in her closet and she hasn't been using it for a while, so she just gave it to me. And I'm really excited about it because it's so big. It's almost like a school bag and... Yeah, you can keep like a laptop and everything in here, so yay, super excited. And I think that is it. There is another gift that I got that was so amazing and so personal and beautiful, but I can't actually share that with you guys yet, because if I do, I have to reveal this big secret that I'm not ready to reveal yet. 2016 is gonna be a, a year of reveals. Like obviously I already got told you guys about the engagement and me and Mr. Tess getting married, there's gonna be more stuff coming up. Some pretty exciting stuff, some scary stuff. 
yeah, but I can't talk about it yet and I'm so sorry for dropping like a hint. I hate it when people do that and they're like, I know something, but I can't tell you. So I'm so sorry for doing that to you guys, but I promise it's something to look forward to. And like after having a shitty 2015, yeah, I like having stuff to look forward to. And I'm gonna share these things with you guys as soon as possible, I promise, okay? So please be patient with me and yeah. I had an awesome birthday. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. If you have any questions, as always, put those in the comments. And yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.